Hey guys, welcome to another edition of An Engineer's Opinion. This time I'm going to be talking about the recently announced Movado Motion Smartwatch along with the Chrono Smartwatch Enabler and then I'll be talking about smartwatches in general. So let's jump over to the watch here. So this is the new Movado Motion and so it has the classic analog face but then it has this nice little circle here and this circle actually has your activity tracking or your sleep patterns if you will on here and so you can set your goals on the smartwatch app you know everybody's got an app and then you can uh, actually see it right on the face of the watch which is something that I've always wanted from a classic analog looking but smart connected watch normally they don't actually put an activity dial on here now the one thing I'd like to see on here is also like a weather dial but that also cuts into how often the watch is to sync with your phone they're saying it's got a two year life and it never needs recharging so it's probably using some sort of uh, standard motion charging uh, that you see in like the eco drive watches or the uh, watches that charge as you walk and so it's actually a very high quality build so it's a black PVD finished stainless steel and the PVD is a little more high quality of the coating on the stainless steel so it probably won't scratch off as easy it's got a nice sapphire crystal so it's not going to scratch and the bracelet is also PVD finished it's a little bit of water resistant uh, it looks really nice so the only downside here is this one I was looking at is fifteen hundred dollars which is rather expensive it's not as expensive as say the Tag Heuer connected watch but it's still up there for a smartwatch now let's see if they have any of the other ones listed here uh, it doesn't look like they have the full range. I saw one that was like a thousand dollars, one that was eleven $1 hundred, and this fifteen hundred dollar one. Basically, it's a varying size of colors and watch bands. There's a silicone band, there's a stainless steel band, there's a silver band, and that kind of stuff. Now let's jump over to the Chronos. So the Chronos is actually a smartwatch enabler. So it's a tiny little metal disc that actually goes on to the bottom of your existing watch and turns it into a smartwatch and it's about the size of a standard watch battery so what this allows you to do is take any watch you have and make it a smartwatch and it's got about a 36 hour battery life and it's wireless recharging and they're saying it sticks on with um, non-sticky adhesive so some sort of suction cup through some silicone onto the bottom of your watch. So obviously it's going to make your watch a little thicker, but it'll give you all the fitness tracking and it'll vibrate and has some lights in it for when you get messages. So you can have your classic analog watch, but still have a smartwatch. So we're getting pretty close to an ideal smartwatch for myself at least. So what I would like in a smartwatch is an analog or a digital face that doesn't really bother me but I'd also like the activity dial and the weather dial all in the front of the watch those are the three things the time how far I've walked the day and the current temperature outside those are the three most important things for me and some people probably don't care about the weather so they're probably pretty happy right now with the analog watches that have the steps on them but they're also rather expensive right now. I'm thinking of the Misfit watch, which is like $700, and it's a lot like the Movado watch. But as more and more companies produce these watches, it's going to get better. There's going to be more competition, and prices are going to start to go down. And it's going to be really exciting in a year or two when everybody's trying to compete and everybody has to be putting more and more information on and increasing battery life and increasing the information they can display to you so I'm pretty excited things are going well smartwatches are fairly new it's only been you know about two or three years that they've really been around so we'll see where they are in another couple of years and that's an engineer's opinion